Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Hey everybody, I'm Greg Bedard, the NFL writer at the Boston Globe, here with Super Bowl champion tight end Jermaine Wiggins, and we're going inside the Patriots playbook with a big play from the Patriots' victory over the Jets. Uh, this is going to be the Patriots' first play of the second half, the Wes Walker 73-yard reception. Now this play, Jermaine, this goes to sort of tendencies yep. and the way defenses read things off mm -hmm. of what the offense is doing. This actually had its roots against Oakland. The Patriots ran the same formation mm -hmm. many times, oftentimes ran out of it. Yep. Explain how that all worked with what the Jets were seeing on this play. Okay, so what you have here is this formation where Gronkowski lines up in the hip of Solder, who's actually tight end eligible. He's playing the tight end position. And what the play is, the play's called the wham play. And the way the wham works on the run, which they run it a lot, is you'll see Gronkowski come down in a short motion. And that's going to key the defense. That's going to be the tendencies that you talk about. On the run play, Solder will come out and block the linebacker. Uh, the other, the guard will come out and block the end. He'll flash and lead, lead up for the linebacker. And then as Gronkowski comes down in short motion, he'll air hole the nose guard and he'll work up here and they'll cut this back up and they'll run Benny right in that play. And that's called the wham play. But what they did is they showed the same, they showed the same formation. They showed the same play, how they're going to run the wham. And they yell, linebackers, I guarantee you, they see Gronkowski short motion and the tendency from a defense is to be yelling, wham, wham, wham. So now they're thinking, here it comes, linebackers step up. This free safety because Revis is not playing man-to-man. -man. They're playing a three-deep coverage. So he has all of this area here. He has wham. He cheats up, and they run a play action off that. So when Welker comes down, it looks like he could be cracking but he runs right by the safety, and that's where the big play is hitting the home run. This free safety should have keyed. He shouldn't have really bit so hard, but because the Patriots do a tremendous job of running the wham play successfully, now they're able to run that play action off of it, which allows them to now step up, show the illusion, we're going to run, get wel welcome behind, and make a big catch. Obviously, he didn't have the burners to get to, to the touchdown, but you know what? 73-yard catch, we'll take that. Yeah. I think this is something the Patriots had in their back pocket for a while. When they saw that this was Eric Smith here, yeah. this is a guy who's been on similar plays yeah. to this in the past against the Patriots. So I think everything sort of aligned on that first play of the second half, and the Patriots hit it, and it was a big play, and it got them going. They, they scored on that drive, mm -hmm. took a and, big lead. And, and the one thing I say, it's all about tendencies from an offensive and a defensive. So our tendency is show short motion, get the defense thinking wham. Now they come out, they see short motion, they think wham, they bite, we run play, off, play action, we make a big play. All right, sounds good, Jermaine. Thanks for visiting with us today. Everybody check back tomorrow for a look at the Cowboys from this Sunday's game. But for now, this is Inside the Playbook. I'm Greg Bedard from the Boston Globe. Thanks for tuning in.